Alright guys, welcome to today's video and today we're going to be taking a look at every driver, car and team confirmed for the 2021 Daytona 500 so far. We're just over two weeks away from the Great American Race and are currently looking likely to see between 44 and 47 entries for the last 500 of the Gen 6 era. We'll start off with the 36 charter teams for 2021. For those who don't know, a charter gives a team an automatic entry to every race in the NASCAR Cup Series, as well as an increased share of the prize pool. Teams without a charter will have to compete in qualifying and the duels, which this year take place on Wednesday and Thursday before the race, for the four remaining spaces on the grid. Defending race winner Denny Hamlin will enter a 16th full season with Joe Gibbs Racing in the number 11 car as the three-time Daytona 500 champion looks to become the first driver in the race's history to win it three times in a row. Hamlin will be joined yet again at JGR by two-time champion Carl Busch and 2017 champion Martin Truex Jr. whilst Christopher Bell steps up to the number 20 for 2021. The full-time Toyota contingent will be concluded by a new team, 2311 Racing, co-owned by Hamlin and Michael Jordan, and with Bubba Wallace driving the number 23 Camry. Reigning champion Chase Elliott will return to the number 9 Camaro at Henrik Motorsports, who stay at four cars for this season. William Byron stays in the number 24, whilst Alex Bone and his crew move to the number 48. After almost a year suspended, Carl Larson returns to the Cup Series in the number 5 car to complete the HMS Quartet. Chevrolet remain the numerically dominant manufacturer in 2021, with Hendrick drawn by several more outfits. Chip Ganassi Racing, now also running for General Motors in IMSA, retain Kurt Busch in the number 1, with the melon man Ross Chastain joining the team to drive the number 42. Richard Childress Racing have kept Austin Dillon and Tyler Reddick, and Quinn Howe stays at Starcom Racing. JTG Dotty Racing are down to only one charter for this season, although they intend to run two cars throughout, with the chartered entry belonging to Ricky Stenhouse Jr. in the number 47. Spire Motorsports will stay at two cars, having signed Corey LaJoy for the full season in the number 7, and the number 77, which will feature a range of drives in 2021, will be raced at the 500 by Jamie McMurray. Eric Jones, who lost his Joe Gibbs racing seat, has taken the iconic Richard Petty Motorsports number 33, which was departed by Wallace, and the new Trackhouse Racing team, co-owned by Justin Marks and Pitbull, will run the number 99 for Daniel Suarez. Ford haven't won the 500 since 2015, and the driver who won that race, Joey Logano, will enter his ninth season at Team Penske in 2021. Penske Heat with an unchanged lineup of Logano, Ryan Blaney and Brad Keselowski, with Wood Brothers Racing also keeping Matt De Benedetto. Roush Fenway Racing retain the duo of Ryan Newman and Chris Buescher, whilst changes are afoot at a Stuart Haas Racing outfit titleless since 2014. Kevin Harvick and Eric Almirola both return, as does Cole Custer for a sophomore year. The number 14, however, sees Chase Briscoe step up to replace the retiring Clint Boyer. Front Row Motorsports will field the only other Rookie of the Year contender, Anthony Alfredo joining them to run in the number 38, whilst Michael McDowell remains in the number 34. The new Live Fast Motorsports team will run the final Mustang, the number 78 for BJ McLeod. The final four charters belong to Rick Ware Racing, who may enter Chevrolet's Ford or a mix of both. Cody Ware will enter the Petty Ware Racing number 51, whilst Josh Palicki will drive the number 52 car full time. The other two cars will feature a rotating cast of drivers, with Derek Cope in the number 15 for the 500 and Joey Gase in the number 53. This takes us on to the non chartered cars who will be aiming to win their way onto the grid in qualifying or in the duels. JTG Doherty Racing, as mentioned earlier, are running a full season car for Ryan Priest alongside the one for Stenhouse Jr. And the NY Racing team are also planning a full season effort with a Chevrolet, but this is currently unconfirmed. For the part season entries, Noah Gregson will attempt to make the 500 with Bia Motorsports in a Chevrolet, and Corlig Racing will also enter a Camaro for Kaz Grala. 
A third Chevrolet may also appear for Tommy Baldwin Racing, but much like the MY Racing Team car, no driver, sponsor or spotter is yet to be announced. 2020 NASCAR Xfinity Series champion Austin Sindrick will have his first shot at the 500 this year, driving the number 33 Team Penske Ford, and also expanding a car for the Great American Race will be Front Row Motorsports, with David Reagan returning to the number 36 for a one-off. Go Fast Racing, down to a part-time effort for 2021, have not given up on entering the 500, but to do so will require a funded driver to appear within the next week. This is the complete opposite for the other team moving down to part-time for this year. Ty Dillon already confirmed for the Gaunt Brothers Racing Toyota. Last but not least, Chad Fincham and Timmy Hill will attempt to qualify for the 500 in either Ford or Toyota machinery built by MBM Motorsports. So there we have it, a minimum of 44 cars, the joint highest since the charter system was introduced in 2016, are going to be going for victory this year. Please feel free to let me know your way too early prediction for the Harley J Earl Trophy winner in the comments below.